Hey everybody, welcome back to Alina of the Arena. And honestly, the last one was something to forget about. We played as the Hunter for the first time, and the first mystery stop had the Meme Hammer and the Triple Fist in it, and I couldn't help myself. I took both of them. I also took the Demon Slayer crossbow just to do the full juggling. And we lost on the first floor main boss. I, I always forgot what his name is, but it was the single fight, not the spider. And why did we lose? Honestly, it's because we didn't have enough damage. I was hoping that we could get through it with Lash Out and putting a ton of fatigue to my deck and getting a big triple fist off, but it just never quite worked. We gained close, but not quite, not quite there. So I'm going to atone for my mistakes. I'm going to play the Hunter again. I know there's still a class I haven't played, but let's actually try and, you know, play to their strengths, which was more like ranged attacks. Now we're going to have to do this the hard way because I doubt I've got many purple coins. I have four of them, so I can't afford the cat charm. Mountain Bracer, increase the max HP by 14. Or Earth Bracer, gain two strength to the start of each fight. That seems very nice. Okay. Give me the Earth Bracer, give me Flurry. They both seem like great things. I do like Improvise as well. And let's take me to a fight. So two strength early on is huge for my scaling. Right, first of all, I don't want to be stood next to you. I will shoot you with a flurry, and I will reload. How do I still have one mana left? Oh yeah, the reload costs nothing now, I forgot. Ah, uh, oh well. Okay, let's move to the rock, pick up a rock. They're always, always useful, and shoot him again. Wonderful. Think fast, fireball, full attack. I'm going to take the fireball, because I've decided I'm not taking the meme hammer. Hammer. Meme hammer this run. Even if it shows up, I'm not going to take it. I'm going to turn it down. So I need some answer for the spider boss if it is the spider boss. And an AoE is lovely. It's also very good for dealing with these guys. Just immediately throw a fireball at them. And that's job done. They're dead. Then I will throw a crippling trap here. Hope you move into it. Right. You are not dead yet, sadly. You, on the other hand, are also not dead. So we'll move here, pick up another rock, and shoot you. Because I would like to not take damage. I can't reload yet. It has to be the same colour. Alright. One of your vulnerable things ticks away. But that's okay with me. We'll move here, reload, shoot you again, pick up the bomb. Do I want to throw a bomb at you? Not really, if I can avoid it. Just keep moving back, reload, throw a crippling trap. They go into the crippling trap and they're dead to a strike now. A flurry will also do it. Excellent. <laughs> Hello, Arsenal. We meet again. Was it Arsenal's fault that we lost the Arsenal run? No, it wasn't. I'm going to take kick. Arsenal is interesting. I think it could be something that is fun to pick up in the future. And I think it's something that could be fun to try and build a run out of. But not for right now. Right. Do I want an event or do I want to rest? Where's my next rest? It's behind here. I can get to it for free. We'll rest and train. What are we going to upgrade? Give me Flurry upgraded. The scaling is too big on it. And this gives me another Meditate. Uh... Give me a Meditate. I'm going to forget something. I really don't want these strikes in my deck. We've just picked up a Flurry. Let's remove a strike. I don't feel the urge this time to create a card. And give me another fight. Okay, it's a bunch of plebs. Which is fine. We can fireball them. Great start. I'm not going to get too good to use Syndrome on this bomb either. However, I don't really need to use it right now. You're taking two, so you're going to go into seven. You're taking two, so you're going to five. I think I just end turn. And this is wonderful. It's exactly what I wanted. Flurry you, and then stab you. 
another trap. Right, you're trying to set up. The joke's on you, that's what I'm trying to do too. Throw a crippling trap and reload. Hopefully the fire goes away this turn, otherwise I'm going to have a little bit of a sad time. So yeah, I can shoot over these things. That's really useful. That being said, I'm probably going to about to detonate it anyway, because I'm going to fireball you as well. At 14 health. I'm not going to keep both these rocks. I will swap one for a trap, so let's throw a rock at you as well. That leaves you on 8. I just have to do 7 damage and you're dead. And I have it. Strike. Strike. Cool. Faint. Deal 6 damage. Return a random 0 cost card from your discard pile to your hand. Deals 5 damage but it pierces. Now this I've always said is kind of weak. But maybe this is the build. Because I... I enemies get more and more armor as the game goes on. But do I really want pierce on... What do you upgrade into? Do you just become more damage? You do. Hmm. I'm not sure I care, actually. I, I think I might go with Faint. That can fetch me a kick right now. That's decent. We'll take the Weakening Trap. And we'll sell the Rusty Shield. Okay, we have 85 gold pennies. I think we just go for the event now. A wealthy looking collector approaches you, claiming to be an admirer of your performances. He offers to buy one of your weapons for a handsome price, so that he may add it to his collection. For some reason, you can hear him breathing heavily. A rusty dagger for 250 gold? Deal. I I feel like I've just mugged someone, and I'm, I'm proud. <laughs> Let's let take me to a shop now. What's the biggest upgrade I could get right now? I think it's on an item. I still don't have a weapon that I'm thrilled with yet. Just the next upgrade on the crossbow isn't going to really do it for me. Spike shield. You know what? I might consider you. And try and build maybe like, I don't know, a crossbow, a crossbow shield build? Or do I re-roll? Let's try it. I've never done this before. We'll do it. So we want blocks on red and attacks on blue. And then... Do I want to upgrade the start of my spike shield? Sure. And this gives me some elites. Okay, let's fight this elite first. Right, this is the scariest battle for me. Because I don't really have a great AoE thing other than Fireball. Now that I think about it though, I do also have this. Push you two away, push you to the far wall, push you away that way. Uh, let's put it here and knock you guys back. Then... Is that another spike shield? <laughs> Double spike shield, anyone? I'll throw a trap here. Because I'm pretty certain one of you will come over here eventually. And unfortunately, I can't attack anyone. I should possibly... No, I did move. Alright. Well, you're going to jump into that, so I'm completely fine with this. Can I do 30 damage to you? Definitely want to move. Uh, the answer is no, I can't do 30 damage to you. But I can do a big chunk of damage. I can strike you. You're going to attack me twice and take... One damage. So you're going to take two damage. Okay, throwing a rock doesn't really do anything for me. That's fine. You hit me. I get some wounds. And we have a fireball. Also, you're trying to heal. That's very nerdy. Move here. Throw a rock. We're just going to have to accept the wounds are going to be in my hand. Because I can't turn this down as well. We take four damage. This guy, hopefully we can kill now. And I would like a kick. Thank you very much. 
Uh, this is just perfect. We reload with the strike. Sorry. I kick you away from me. I don't flurry here. I faint. No, it doesn't matter. <laughs> I, I could have done this better. I should have flurried this guy. Kicked him. No, it wouldn't have worked still. Ah, uh, who cares? You're dead. Gives me my kickback. And then reload with a flurry, I suppose. He's healing, but that's fine. Because I'm still lowering this guy. 26 damage. Can I do that this turn? Uh, no. However, you're only doing 11. And I can shield up. I don't have to attack you every turn. I can turn into a turtle for a bit. You take 4 damage for the pleasure. And I keep 3 of my block. Move back here. Throw a fireball at you. Please do not heal. Thank you. Healing is illegal in these neck of the woods. I take some wound damage. And my block goes. I need 4 damage here to kill. And we have it. Perfect. Strike. Flurry. Reload. Roll. Keep the rock. Crippling trap here. Okay, you went around it. Very smart. Can I do 21 damage this turn? Do I have kick in my discard pile? I do not. I can't. I can. I have to hit myself for it, though. I don't think the juice is worth the squeeze. I think we guard. Guard. Remove the wound. Okay, you're going to charge me into the wall now. Strike. Strike. Yeah, we've got lethal. Strike. 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 Okay, we took a little bit of damage, but I can live with this. Alright, I turned beef up down like eight times now. I'm going to take it. It is permanent scaling, but it's super slow the scaling on it, which is kind of why I've ignored it most of the time. I don't think I go double shield build either. But yeah, at least it's some form of scaling. If I can keep my deck thin enough, then it'll do some work. You see a girl nursing and wrap a bundle of wares. Come and have a look. They're all quality goods. You, you, you won't be disappointed. She seems to be worried about being caught and kicked out of the arena. Oh, Flaming Barry gains 6 block, gains 2 ember. It's on blue, sadly. Lash out is just nothing for me. I can rob her. <laughs> you know what? Do it. So I have two attacks on blue at the moment. So I would like to move Flaming Barrier to red, which I can do with a Meditate. I very rarely do this, but let's do it. Get on to red. Right, 117 gold pennies. Give me another fight. Okay, what is this, by the way? Uh, Energize, that's it. Not interested. Move over here, beef me up to get stronger. And we might as well guard, because I'll keep some of the block for next turn. No, I won't. How does this work again? Gain one barricade, keep half your block. Oh, I think barricade dispels, doesn't it, when you move. Is this what I'm doing wrong? Maybe. Okay, move here. Throw a fireball here. Kick you out of the way. Throw a rock at you. End turn. Right, you're surrounding me again. Faint strike flame barrier. Move here. Flaming barrier. I didn't need the Flaming Barrier. Oh, you know what? So be it. 
Fame. You're dead. Gives me back kick. You know what? Let's just kick you. Okay, so the block went off by four. That's fine. I still have some block, though. And roll is working its way up. Oh, one more attack. We would have been so good. We're still fine, though. Seven. 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 You give me barricades. Oh, I have to use a red shield to get the barricades. Maybe that's what happened before. Yeah, I think that's what happened. Okay, I understand now. I understand. Uh, I have to reload my crossbow. No, I don't. Beef up. Kill you with a kick. Throw a fireball. You're dead. You're burning. I don't need to use the roll right now. And can I reload? I can reload at the end of the turn. Good. Okay, we're looking for seven damage. Flurry is more than enough. We'll flurry. And now, I can actually do something with my energy. I can just throw a block. Beef me up again. Throw a crippling trap. Guard me. You're giga dead. Uh, reload. Shoot. Nice. We win. Harvest. Deal four damage. If target dies, gain one energy and return card to hand. There's a synergy here. And even if there isn't, it can just keep stacking more and more damage on top of me. Honestly, this lightning potion is basically irrelevant. I don't care about it. I'll keep the great sword on the off chance I fight Spider Lady. And I'm going to stick with the crossbow over the spear. And give me another fight. Alright, this is the most annoying fight, but in theory I can deal with it better than most others. Why? Because I have a crossbow. Unfortunately, I can't use it right now because I have no... Actually, no, that's not true. I could swap hands. Also, I think I'm going to drink this. Yeah, just swap hands and shoot him. That's a smart man's play. Okay. You are going to shoot me this turn? 15 damage. Okay. Sure. I'll flaming barrier. I'll guard. Reload. Kill him. I don't need the kick. I take a little bit of damage again. But it's not the end of the world. Okay, move back. Pick up a rock. Reload the crossbow. Oh my god. A flurry for a kill. Throw down a trap. And this is a shield potion. I forgot about you though. Yeah, I have to deal with you. Alright. Move here. Drop this on the ground. I don't need it right now. Hang on a minute. I can do this differently. I can do this. No, that's bad. I can do this. And that will equally save me. Yes. Now we're doing some thinking. We'll reload with the zero cost card. Uh, shall I just kill you anyway? No, because you're going to hit your friend anyway. But I might as well throw a rock at someone. Right, you want to do some attacking? No. 22 damage. You're doing 12 to me. How about I put up a flaming barrier and a guard? And then just smack you once? Stop hitting yourself and burning yourself. Flurry is just what we wanted. We can flurry. Oh, I can't really use my fate though. With my fate with the crossbow. What zero cost do I have? Just kick. Hmm. I think I'm going to turn down 12 damage to get the kick. 
So I'm going to faint. Reload. Oh, it gave me harvest. I didn't even notice that was hidden there. Okay, we're good then. Shoot with that. Shoot with that. Then we might as well throw up some guard. And then turn. And good luck to you, perm lady. You're going to need it. Eight damage. Okay. Sure. I'll reload. Guard. Guard. B4. I could kill you, but... I'll take my time. I would have had to use a stone to kill you. Now I don't. I think. Did I actually have lethal anyway? Whatever. Combust. I don't like it. Fortify. Gain 30 block. I do like it. It was on red as well, wasn't it? Yeah, it was on the right colour. Very good. Give me the shield potion. I do not want another rusty crossbow. Uh, I do not want a rock. I'll take the great sword back. Thank you. And we're making some catch. Give me the elite as well. I want to fight everyone. <clears throat> okay. I'm, I'm content with this start as well. Let's just do 15 damage to you. Put up a flaming barrier and we're going to waste an energy this turn. Alright, you both move close. What was the zero cost? I've got my kick. So if I can block seven damage, I'd have to use my thingy potion. We can take our time here. Just play slower. Honestly, throw a three damage rock at her as well. In fact, I can kill her now. Okay, we've misplayed this. We were very close to the right line, but I should have just stayed where I was and I could have kicked you away, put up some block. Okay. A fireball. Wonderful. Oh, and a better crossbow. I don't even need to reload my other one now. Excellent. Fireball. And we're not going to need this rock. Just throw the rock at you. It makes the maths easier for next turn. I can kill you with a harvest. What was this when it kills again? And return cards to hand, so I get it back. So I harvest an enemy, it comes back into my hand, and then I can use it to reload the crossbow. Ah! Now I'm thinking. And honestly, we can just wait for you now. Uh, let's not use the fortify, actually. Let's guard, guard. Because I retain the block. You are annoying. Uh, two... Okay, if I move here, I can just throw a fireball at you. Right. Do I want to shoot you? Yeah, I guess. Let's swap hands for a second. Shoot. Reload. Shoot. And I might as well put up six barrier. Which will decay immediately. I forgot. Okay, whatever. Right. Swap hands again. Reloads the strike. Faint. We have no zero costs. Fair. Throw a crippling trap here. Run a flaming barrier. Okay, he's immobilized. He's weak. He's vulnerable. He's burning. He's having the worst day imaginable. Reload. Do 30 damage if you don't mind. And now start punching him with the shield. Okay, you're doing nothing. Wonderful news. Uh, move back, fireball maybe? Yeah, sure. Move back, reload, fireball. Like, it's working, so why not? I know he's going to try and put up some more armor. But if, as long as I can find a good shooty shoot, we're good. Did I find a good shooty shoot? No. I can... No, you will die. Because the crossbow does damage. I forgot. 
Flaming Weapons apply one burn whenever you deal damage. Honestly, that could be nice. Heavy Rain deals six damage. If damage is dealt, draw a random Heavy Rain from your draw pile and reduce its cost to zero this turn. This again has a potential synergy with uh, the crossbow. So you know what? Give it to me. Although, no, fuck it. Let's get let's get Turtlier. We haven't taken many defend cards. Let's grab some defend cards. Right? Are you better than the Imperial Longsword? No. I will hold on to the Imperial Longsword then, if you don't mind. And now we just have a shop. What do I want to do in the shop? Uh, I think we want to buy cards. Born in Flames gain four block whenever occupying a flaming tile at the end of each turn. Ignore the effects of burn. Run and gun. Whenever you move, reload your weapon and draw one card. Okay, we have to take this. It's not even a question. It, I just need it. I would have loved to try this Born in Flames. That could really have been a lot of fun. But if I'm going to stick with the crossbow... We have to take it. Now, do I want to go really ballsy? I think I do. I think I'm going to try and kill the boss at 40 odd health because I would like to upgrade some cards here. What are you upgrading to out of the interest of running gun? I didn't even check. <laughs> uh, exhaust innate. You start fights with it. I think that's worth. Now, we hope we don't fight the spider. We're not. Wonderful. Immediately, run and gun. Switch your weapons back over again. Flurry. Reload with harvest. Now, we walk back. It reloads our weapon. I didn't even need to reload it, but I did anyway. We're going to beef up. I'm going to throw a crippling trap here. And you know what? Have a rock. You're now vulnerable. Excellent. Uh, what's my zero cost? Harvest is here. So if I faint... Yeah, 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 yeah. This is how we do this. Faint. Reload. Harvest. Reload. Kick. Fireball. Oh, baby, what a turn. Okay, I've drawn all the block cards this turn. That's kind of unfortunate. We will do a little shooty-wooty. And a really rolly-wolly. And then why not put up... Oh, it's on the wrong colour now. That's why. Eh... Uh... I don't even want to use my roll. Honestly, just end turn. He's going to jump back into the middle and push me onto the rock. You fool, this is where I want to be. Also, it's kind of where you want to be, so... Sure. Do I want to gain... some block and just stand next to him? Uh, my hand is kind of giga garbage right now. Stand up against... No, actually. Throw a rock first. Throw a rock. Stand up against the wall. We draw a card. Flaming barrier and guard. Half of this will stay till next turn. You're hitting me again. Move, roll. Hmm. Move here, fireball here, roll here. Move, fireball, push him away. I would like that thing. Yeah, we can get out of it. Roll, don't really want to be on the fire tile. I should have shot you with the crossbow. I missed nine damage. Fair. Right, you're tired. We move back. <laughs> Gives me a beef up. Excellent. Beef up. Flurry. We we set up. 
And then I might as well reload. Okay, can I do 12 damage this turn? You bet you I can. We will beef up. I will flurry. I will faint to reload. Move close to him. Strike. Strike. So he's going to get annoyed. But if I move, I reload now. 57 block back. That's fine. I really want that, but... I'm going to play safe. Move. Shoot. Reload. Remove the fatigue. Put up some guard. Right. Now we're going to need to use some of our blocking abilities. Yes, we will. Move close to him. Where's that magic shield? Yes, please. So I'm now taking 7 damage. So I wouldn't mind putting up another guard if I can. We'll strike you. I will guard myself. So I take 0. Then I'll kick you away. Still get hit, but I don't... I'm not as close to him next turn, I guess. Oh, so you know what? Yeah, that did make sense. I'm right. Fire a flurry at him. Do I want to break you this turn? Arguably no, but I'm going to. And I'm going to push you away with a fireball. And then we're going to reload. Can I shoot you from here? No, I have to move a closer tile. Alright, I'm going to accept taking burn damage. I think that's fair. Beef up. Harvest. We know where he's going through a crippling trap there. Right, he's in a crippling trap. He's vulnerable. He's weak. He can be defeated. Move and that will reload you. This flurry is going to do some damage. That's 45. Reload with harvest. Play repel. Okay, he can't move right now. So we can just keep peppering him from here. Another beef up. Wonderful. Beef me up. And throw a fireball at him. Just push him away. Keep him at arm's length. He's going to move closer towards. He's not. He's going to just stand still. Like a big nerd. Uh, I'll accept taking fire damage again. Doesn't bother me that much. I could roll out of it. But again, I don't really care. Well, actually, maybe I should roll out of it. <laughs> we'll hit you with a faint. I'll reload with harvest. I'll strike you. Yeah, sure. Let's not. Let's just not take damage. That's unnecessary. You're back in the center. You have 64 block. This can still go wrong. Don't get me wrong. Put up a guard. Put up another guard. End. Because you're going to move now. And I don't have my roll to get out of it. But I do have Fortify. So we'll move in. I'll Fortify. And I'll Flaming Barrier. So we block all the damage and he's going to get burnt. He pushes me into the wall again. He's tired. And this gives me time for my roll to recharge. Move next to him. Throw a trap in the middle. <laughs> uh, flurry him No kick them flurry you dumbo You Dumb person In my head I had it right and then I worked out wrong When I put it out on paper Alright You know what this happens You're doing 37 damage uh, No I'm just going to stand over here if you don't mind Hit you for 20 Should have beefed up first I don't think it's going to matter though. I just need like two attacks. This is a good one. Uh, move. And flurry. Look at that ladies and gentlemen. Getting past the first boss. <laughs> Would you believe your eyes? 
immediately fast reload sounds good, but Dark Souls works pretty nicely with my ability as well. I, I think fast reload is just too good to be true, though. I'll now hold the Muscle Potion. Honestly, the Imperial Longsword may be, may be dead to me. This little bonk hammer, though. <laughs> I did say I was going to take the meme hammer. I didn't say the little bonk hammer. You never know. Rat Charm. Gain one energy each turn. Reduce gold earned by half. Honestly, perfect. Three HP when you kill an enemy. Pretty good. Keeping the Rat Charm. This seems very good. And okay, that's going to do it for this episode. If you enjoyed it, why not leave a like and subscribe? Everything helps me out. And I'll see you on the next part. Goodbye.